Hi guys, this is not Arnie back again with another custom room review. This time I'm taking a long overdue look at one of the three major branches besides Parent Android and Cyanogen mod. Of course I'm talking about the pretty popular ROM called AOKP, the Android Open Kang project. Until not that long ago it was always my favorite ROM of the three major branches, but there are tons of other heavy feature packed ROMs out there by now. So can AOKP still compete with these? We are gonna find out in this video review. So let's start with the good things AOKP has to offer. It has the well known AOKP navbar with its nav rings which is a must have in my opinion for everyone using a navigation bar because it's very customizable and powerful. Just to mention 7 buttons and 5 nav rings with short and long press actions here real quick. Then there are also the maybe even more flexible and powerful AOKP ribbons that allow all sorts of things as well as some smaller nice things like the AOKP traditional quick toggles I personally love so much. One just recently introduced feature is called animation controls that gives you total control over the whole system's animation that is really cool and spice up the whole UI experience a lot. And of course you also get the 8 target lock screen with a whole bunch of extras, a feature I can't be without anymore on my phone. Since it's a major branch it's not really having any particular sort of bloat. It focuses a lot more on many small but enhancing useful features than any crazy stuff you wouldn't use anyways. But sometimes a lot of small stuff just doesn't cut it anymore. Lately AOKP has fallen a bit behind in terms of big innovative features a lot of people seem to prefer. I'm talking about features like Halo and Pi, maybe the two main reasons so many people are switching over to Paranoid Android these days. AOKP doesn't have those, but since I don't use those anyways I'm totally okay with it, but a lot of you out there most probably see this differently. But just as a teaser here, in my next review I will present you a ROM that has all that and even more, so watch out for that. But besides that, I'm also slightly missing the hybrid engine on a tablet and even a bit more on my phone. Also some smaller, maybe less important things like volume cursor key control. To be fair, the other two big ones don't have this one either and at least AOKP has the cursor buttons in the navigation bar optional, but it would still have been nice to have that as an alternative. But the bright side here is that you can easily get most of this these days just by using the right exposed framework modules. If you want to know more about that, just check out my custom ROM database that now even includes exposed framework as a reference to compare with which custom ROM features you can replace using the correct modules. We covered light and darkness, so let's head over and check performance and battery life real quick. The performance on the Nexus 7 2012 is good compared to other ROMs out there out of the box, but I'd still highly recommend to flash a custom kernel just to get the most out of it. On the Nexus 7 2013 there is no need for that though. There it performs among the very best if not the best of all ROMs I've used so far on the Nexus 7 2013. Not even the Pure Speed X ROM that focuses entirely on being minimal but therefore best performance couldn't hold up to AOKP. In terms of battery life there is nothing special to talk about. This stands for both devices. Both offer pretty much the same as all others do but it's a more than just good standard after all. Now it's time to tell you who I think this ROM is suited for. People who just like to use major brands for huge device support and stability are definitely not wrong here. It's completely stable and therefore very bug free and it offers a great support for a huge bunch of devices. It's fast and clean overall very practical I'd even say, but it still offers a huge variety of nice and useful features. Overall it's still the best ROM of the major brands in my opinion, nothing has changed here, but that's definitely up to everyone's own preference and I'm just sharing mine here. But it's also pretty obvious AOKP tries to offer something completely different here compared to Paranoid Android. It gives you way more small features, options and tweaks where Paranoid Android on the other side tries to convince people with only a few but therefore very big ones like Halo, Pi and the hybrid engine. It really comes mostly down to what type of features you prefer. But let's not forget Cyanogen mod here. AOKP and CM are closer to each other even if I personally see a clear winner here. AOKP just offers so much more and Cyanogen mod doesn't really have anything big to offer AOKP doesn't have. Sure it still has by far the biggest device support and therefore the biggest community but that alone won't cut it for long anymore. CM should really come up with something big soon otherwise they will lose more and more users to other ROMs that just offer more. You may have noticed already I only compared it to Paranoid Android and Cyanogen mod, but not with others especially the all in one ROMs that are getting more and more popular these days. So how well can it compete with those? Honestly pretty well I have to admit. Sure you will definitely miss out on a few certain features but what it does it does pretty well. 
but same thing goes for all-in-one ROMs as for Paranoid Android. If it doesn't offer some features you desperately need, even not using exposed modules, it's probably not the best choice for you. But I still think it's at least worth taking a closer look at it. Who knows, maybe you can sacrifice some of those features in exchange for some AOKP has to offer. Ok, so taking all into the equation, what do you get? You get a fast, stable, moderate feature pack ROM that can't completely compete with other all-in-one ROMs in terms of features, but it's still my favorite major branch ROM after all. Because I personally know to appreciate the many small things it has to offer over the few big ones it's missing. In comparison to all-in-one ROMs, it offers a broader and more reliable device support and in most cases better stability in general. That's it for my custom ROM review of the AOKP ROM. As always, feel free to leave me a comment. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, reshare this video and subscribe my channel. Until next time, goodbye.